What's good planet Earth? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Charlie and thank you for being here for another reaction. Today we are getting in some more Ren. Now if you didn't know already, a few days ago I reacted to the wrong Chalk Outlines video. Many of you were very gracious and kind and said there isn't a wrong Ren video to react to and I kind of agree with you. However, I must let you know that if this is the first Chalk Outlines reaction of mine that you're seeing, the majority of my breakdown of the lyrics and the deeper meaning are going to be on that original reaction obviously so I will leave a link up there at the end of the video and if you haven't seen it yet you can go and see it so this one's going to be much more focused on the video rather than the meaning of the song because I've already been through that I am still kind of pissed at myself because this one's probably going to get more views and it would have been nice if people got to see kind of my breakdown of the actual meaning of the song however shoulda woulda coulda anyway thanks for coming back for another video and uh let's get into it without further ado let's go Looking forward to this, man. Looking through a basement or something. Old stuff. Looks a bit industrial to be a residential basement. Looks more like an archive of some sort. The old chair and the guitar. It's so common in Ren's videos. Okay, so straight out of the gate, what I want to say is on a studio recording, obviously you have to kind of ad adhere very closely to a bit. You don't have to, but people do. Now this is much more sort of raw and live and just take it as the feeling goes, which is much more sort of Ren. That's what we love about him, right? So I can see why the majority of you in the comments on the last one said that you prefer this one. It's much more suspenseful and raw emotionally. I love it. Walk around in a floating chalk outline So it goes, let it be In the gallows, balanced on my toes So I can breathe But little by little, bit by bit I push it back Yeah, and as I said on the last one, the vibe very much changes up here. He's talking about, you know, putting on a smile and taking the medication and the vibe switches up just a little bit. It's still not like super happy, but it really is perfect. It's enough of a step up in terms of vibe in order to pretty accurately represent that step up in mood. If not for long, just for a while, i The reverb in there is, oh, okay, I wanna go back. The acoustics in there are crazy. The reverb sustains for so long, really gives it like an amazing eerie kind of feeling. Oh, 
Oh, do you know what I just thought? The reverb could be like representative of emptiness because you don't get reverb in a nice soft. It oh yeah, it kind of represents a hardness and an emptiness, which is very. I know that's how depression feels for me. There's no softness and you just feel empty. You, I mean, empty is the epitome of, of, of depression. You've got nothing. You've got no vim. You've got no zest. Nothing. And so that, that reverb is actually very fitting because you don't get reverb without emptiness and you don't get it with hardness because you need hard surfaces for the sound to bounce off. And if you're, you know, if you're in a room full of stuff, it absorbs the, it absorbs the sound waves. So um, that's awesome. Love that. There's something almost exhausted about the way that she's singing, which again, am amazing representation of what it feels, what it what it is to feel like that. But a lot of you said her voice is nigh on eerie in this, which is kind of weird because I just um, mentioned it with the with the reverb thing, but it really is. It really is, and it's much more emotional, much more bare, you know, emotionally. <laughs> That's such a powerful line. I did say it in the previous video, but I'm going to say it again. You're scared to be okay. You take it just in case. You know, even though you're having a good day already, it going south is almost more painful than ensuring that it's maybe just a little bit more dull, but consistent, you know? I'm scared of being okay Cause all things change Such a perfect baby, it's a beautiful shame, it's a beautiful shame. I'm scared of being okay, cause all things change. That's a very kind of spooky falsetto that Chinchilla's using there. It's very airy, it kind of uh, rises and then falls. And again, with that reverb, just really letting it ring and it's very dynamic. They can make these changes to their voices and it has a really amazing effect because of the reverb. You can kind of play with that. It's a beautiful shame. I'm scared of being okay Cause all things change But little by little Bit by bit I push it back down With a new habit if not for long, just for a while I'll bury myself with a great big smile Oh mama, oh mama We trace ourselves in the chalk 
When it comes to the chorus, they're singing right in each other's faces. And I'm wondering if they are representing two sides of the same person that kind of without without the medication or in certain... So I haven't got that deep. I've been trying to... This is obviously my first time seeing the video, right? It's a lot to take in with Ren, Ren videos anyway, especially the first time you've seen it. So I'm just wondering if they're both playing like two sides of the same person and with the medication, they can at least like face each other and and try and try and form some sort of togetherness and cohesion. And when they don't have it, it all just sort of, sort of falls apart. And it's very like, they both seem very lost, particularly Chinchilla. And she kind of crouches down on the floor and a lot of like touching her face, which can often be like for comfort or just wanting to hide, you know, could be. So I'm just wondering if that is the sort of thing that they're playing, whether it be with, you know, with and without medication or, or what. Or it might be just in two different states of mind at different times. I haven't, I haven't deeped it that much um, yet, but that's kind of what, what I'm thinking. Because when it comes to the chorus, and they're talking in, talking about just for a while, put on, you know, bury, bury ourselves with a smile. It's like an attempt to uh, let's let's figure this out. I don't know. I might just be talking shit. <laughs> Lights out. An amazing, amazing piece of art. Welcome to the Afterthought, guys. Now, yes, I can see why everyone wanted me to do this one. The video is incredible. It's full of suspense. It's full of emotion. Now, it didn't make me as emotional as the first time because I was so wrapped up in the meaning of it and fully identifying with it in terms of my own lived life experience and my own struggles with mental health. It really hit, as I think it would anyone with their first time hearing that song and really understanding its message and how effective it was at making us feel much more than was actually said. It was an amazingly clever composition. However, I digress. Ren manages to get so much out of such simple videos. He just chooses the right setting. He makes things mean things and what I love right and I was thinking about this quite a lot this week when I was thinking about Ren reactions what I love about reacting to him is that every video has some sort of an easter egg there's something to uncover and that's like a dream for someone like me because my brain is always firing on all cylinders and I'm a big problem solver like I love puzzles and figuring stuff out and so every time I listen to it I mean it's got everything it's got a message it's got raw talent it's got symbolism it's got amazing visuals it's just so interesting all the time and he manages to do that with such simple setups which really goes to show he's actually just got an incredible mind because you don't need much if you're brilliant it's about what you do with what you've got and there's no finer example of that than Ren with his music and his videos unreal thanks for watching guys please if you do nothing else guys hit the like button it really does help me in the channel but I hope you stick around for some more videos and I appreciate you haven't been here in the first place I hope you had a good time anyway have a great day guys and as always be kind to yourselves love everyone and take care I freaking love you guys <laughs>